Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths and some more totally scientific honest combat testing. So it's, I believe it is pretty well established in the From the Depths community that um, between the two kinds of shields that you can use, uh, shield projectors and ring shields, shield projectors are generally better. Uh, but I thought it would be fun to do a bit of combat testing and just have a nice excuse for ships to shoot at each other with two almost identical ships, canoes, pointy boats, whatever. Uh, one equipped with shield projectors and the other with ring shields. So our friend over here on the right has shield projectors and our friend on the left has ring shields and internally they are very similar. They're the same uh, maximum armor thickness, so it's one, two, three, four layers of metal uh, metal beam slopes and then an inner citadel of alloy so they can be very floaty floaty and our friend here uh, has shield projectors hither and thither so it has I think actually an even number two four six eight ten twelve uh, fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty ring shields in total uh, four of them are up in the turret and I will demonstrate to you how the shields are arranged, just like so. Watch the atlas fall straight into the ocean because that's funny. As you can see, the shields are all angled. I am not an expert at uh, having shields uh, do shieldy things, so hold on, let's do that. So you can see here, shields covering basically most of the important parts of the ship. So, the shields are not very strong, I should mention. They're only got a drive of 2.2 um, because that's like the sensible power usage. Minimum chance to reflect uh, projectiles is 7%, maximum 14%. So, honestly, uh, shield projectors have kind of a disadvantage at the scale, I feel, because they're not doing a hell of a lot, or so it feels like. Uh, as for the shells that are being fired, uh, this is not my best work. This uh, turret is actually kind of too small uh, to be triple barreled, but um, it just lobs AP frag rounds 14.9, 15.8, 14.9. Mm -hmm. Same shells for both ships. I'll just show you the shell 293 millimeters, uh, six parts long, and kind of mediocre, but it's good enough to get a sense of which ship will be tankier and which will survive better. So. Lots of frag. I actually tried this um, uh, this kind of combat testing before with uh, APHE, but APHE at this scale is just not very good at all. It just does not do enough damage. But fragments, because they have kind of lousy uh, AP, it means the ring shields have a chance to shine, and the shield projectors have a chance to do stuff as well. So yeah, so we've got shield projectors here, and I'll just show you the ring shield arrangement in here, which is not perfect. I kind of built the ship first and then kind of was almost role-playing as someone who's like, oh yeah, shields, what should I do? Uh, which probably means the shield projectors have an advantage there because they're easier to just slap on. You don't have to plan around them because uh, these things, these things just are so volatile and will put holes straight through a lot of things, uh, a lot of blocks if they, if they go wrong. So yeah, so we've got ring shields pointing to the side. Uh, identical compartments forward and back and the armor bonus and I should spawn in the atlas again just so we can see so the armor bonus on the sides is 5.6 on the bottom is 5.4 on the top is also 5.4 it's actually pretty even and I think these guys uh, actually have uh, these diagonal parts actually have a pretty decent uh, boost. It's like 6.8 bollocks of it. It's always a little bit underwhelming, but I guess you got to keep in mind it is to be balanced against uh, damage types. Okay, so that's uh, you got the general idea of these guys. Identical ships, but different shield setups. So now we're going to hop into the custom battle setup, and let's have red and blue fight. Alrighty then, we are now set up. So few notes, uh, these things are spawning in at a 45 degree angle to each other because that's kind of my new default because it's like even stevens for both broadsiders and frontsiders and will ensure that these guys will maneuver around and get into their proper broadside properly. 
And number two, there is a 10 minute time limit that should work, except last time I used the time limit it was bugged. So the winner is whoever has the most health after 10 minutes. This could take a while, but there'll be best of three. So here we go. So immediately we've got shield projectors are losing out immediately. Also, let me know if you want me to just do this again with bigger craft, with like actually armed with rail guns or something like that. Because, um, I feel shield projectors would be much better against, like, really high AP shells. Like, the kinds, uh, which, um, like, armor boost doesn't even matter. Alright, so ring shields is actually... Okay, let's see what's happening here. I'm seeing not a lot of damage. I'm seeing stuff being taken off. I can tell you right now that uh, using AP Fry rather than AP HE was a good move here because this fight is moving a lot faster uh, than the last one, uh, which we shall not speak of, except I keep speaking about it, so I don't know. And it looks like, yeah, interesting. Ring shields are losing out. I think maybe because these shells do, like, any kind of um, reduction of the shells just hitting you is just a, just a good idea. Chewing through it, chewing through it. Yeah, the ring shields is getting hammered. Ur, ur. Like you gotta remember, there is a bit of RNG in here as well. I forget what the aim point settings are on this thing. Let's see, what are you losing? It's also basic, basically game over if uh, the ring shields get popped uh, on this thing, because. Uh, because they are volatile and they take a large chunk of health off um, uh, when they get destroyed. Still very even, still very even. I'm just going to call these guys red and blue. Blue is definitely flagging behind us, not by much. Alrighty, let's go have a look at red. These things were originally black and white, by the way, but uh, with, with like, uh, craft colored black, it's actually kind of hard to tell if they've taken damage, because, well, the blocks are dark, and they get darker. Also, I'm proud of these barrels. I think they look really cool. I'm trying to make things look prettier, and I'm kind of succeeding. Transition blocks, by the way, quite a simple way to get a nice-looking hull. Highly recommend. I'm not sure why it took me so long uh, to get around to that. Hang around with red. How are you doing? How many things are actually bouncing off? So it's like the chance to actually bounce shells for this guy are actually pretty low. So I don't know. I feel I possibly could. I should have done like with like how do you directly compare that? This is one of the reasons why this uh, the scientific scientific combat tests are a bit tongue in cheek. Um, because there's a fair amount of RNG, and also it's like, it kind of depends on what you're doing. Like, how do you know? How do you do? How do you do? Um, how do you set it up so it's fair, so to speak? I guess if they use the same amount of power, which they do, uh, by the way. Maybe I should have just uh, stuck uh, shield projectors uh, on the turrets and then just cranked up the power of them, like, a lot. Maybe that would be a better idea. Maybe I should do that eventually. Or, more likely, people will say in the comments, so like, uh, that's not how you set up shields, you, you silly person. At which point I'll say, well, thank you, and thank you for sparing my feelings. That last half was sarcastic. Alright, let's go check on the ring shield, because it's like, it's very even now. Let's see here, have you lost propellers? No, you have not. Both of these things move at about 22 meters per second. Not super fast, just fast enough to not be irritating. This is a very even fight, which is the whole idea, really, because it's like, um, it's just, like, like, all other things being equal, which is more worth your time, the ring shields or the shield projectors? My money is on the shield projectors, honestly. Like, I mean, currently, they're in the lead, so, yeah, very much so. Mm hmm. 
I don't usually make red and blue. Oh, oh, there goes a bearing range fire just completely taken off. Should have made these things AP heat. That would have been very funny. And by very funny, I mean I don't even know. Let's see how red's doing. I think, like, I've noticed that the um, shields on the turret seem to do just a lot. Like, you know, they help a lot, even though, never mind, actually, this, this barrel has been clipped just a little bit. So, yeah. I don't even know, man. Well, well, bearing rangefinder lost. Can tell you for sure that wasn't happening with the APHE shells. Not at this gauge. We've got a fair amount of block confetti. Block fetti, as they call it. Let's see. Let's have a look under the water. I do remember the days when shield projectors were kind of... I guess not overpowered, but just really irritating, because they were just kind of too strong. So... Yeah, like, I'm not, like... For the record, by the way, I am not a huge fan of, like, either of these shields. Like, because, I don't know, they're kind of a pain in the butt. And I guess that's the that's kind of the idea. Stated intention of the developers back in the day, when these changes were made... Uh, or rather, when the last round of shield changes was made, is that they don't, shouldn't feel compulsory. Uh, but yeah, it just means that, like, you know, kinetic rail guns are the absolute be-all, end-all of weaponry, really, so, meh. I mean, I guess you could say particle cannons are the be-all, end-all of weaponry. And I guess, like, ring shields do affect particle cannons a bit, because they improve your AP, but at the same time, a big pack, uh, the kind of ring shields you need to, like, make any difference... Uh, with what a particle cannon does to you if it's a big piercing pack. Um, I'd say... Eh, probably not worth it. Probably spend more spend more money on guns. Incidentally, I've like been messing uh, with cram cannons again a little bit in my spare time. And having um, gone off them for a little while, I gotta say... It's hard to make, like, you know... Well, especially the way I do things, try to do things these days is like make kind of glass cannons. Uh, yeah, you can't do that with cram cannons. You just, you can't. They're gonna eat more fire than something armed with APS because they just don't do enough damage fast enough. And also the first shots are highly likely to miss, which is unfortunate. Which is Genghis Khan fortunate. So we are seven minutes in. These guys, we've got kind of a Virginia versus Monitor situation happening. Uh, looks like... Looks like that, um, hang on, I want to see something, yep, still intact, still intact, wait a minute, oh, the shield, oh, the ring shield, oh, yeah, never mind. ring shields is in the lead, when did that happen, I got confused, have I been saying the wrong person's in the lead this whole time, have I been doing that, I might have been doing that, Here we have the little heavy armor compartments for the shields and the superstructure, which probably is not my best work. Yeah, ring shields are actually pretty healthy lead at the moment. What's happening in there? Like, how deep are these shells getting? Oh, they're in the engine compartment. Oh, yeah, that's that's kind of game, really. Is uh, once you. Uh, once the engines are getting are getting poked in, that's when you that's when you got problems. That's when you got problems. Yeah, that that lead is increasing. If it keeps landing shots into the engine compartment like that, ooh, baby. Yeah, I think the extra armor is uh, at the very least at this scale is actually helping a lot. Which means I guess you could just like sneak a small ring shield just onto a whole bunch of stuff that uh, otherwise you wouldn't bother with shields like you can yeah you can I think are we seeing shield flickering yeah we are we're running out of juice solid 2% lead now yeah it's getting in there there's the engine compartment getting getting picked away 
Yep, those are engine bits. Those are engine bits. Okay, so the shield projector canoe has about uh, yeah, about 20 seconds uh, to make up what is almost what is basically a 3% hit point lead. Like I would let this go all the way through, but you know, like there needs to be multiple rounds of this. Oh yeah. Right. Have you managed to penetrate all the way yet? Interesting. Has not. Armor's holding firm. Okay, so uh, round one, pretty... Okay, it's not a huge victory, like, neither... Both craft are kind of still alive, but, yeah. Round one, ring shield craft uh, wins. And let's start that again. Round one, it's one to the ring shield craft. This might just be, like, um... That's how I'm going to spin this around, so we can see... And start them, like so. So this might be just because like of how these craft are built and they're relying a lot on armor anyway and just the armor buff is like buffing a lot of blocks actually. So we have to see who's going to drop health first. Neither of them. Oh, well that's very even, very even, very even. Just exchanging shells for a little bit. And yeah, once again, ring shields in the lead. Ring shields are in the lead. Actually, like... Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see where these shots are landing. Yeah, going straight, straight, straight. Uh, the way that the uh, shield projector craft is gonna win is just gonna if it lands shots in the in the bow and stern of the ring shield craft uh, because then it'll pop the ring shields but since both of these crafts are going for clusters of blocks and the midsection is where all the engines are and that's a huge block cluster i think yeah interesting that was a complete accident i didn't plan that didn't plan that at all i do like how these look they're not I don't think these craft are, are particularly excellent, but um, I do like this kind of triple gun uh, frying pan turret. Like, we know pancakes, but um, have you, do you do frying pan turrets? Oh, did I remember to... Yes, I did. Oh, there goes the bearing rangefinder again. I should really armor those up. I should stick some things... Well, this is why you combat test. I should actually do this more often. Just in my own time, even. It's like, build a craft, and then... Build a second version of it, and then let's have you and him fight. Or you and her fight. Or you and them fight. Ships are all genders at the same time. Because they're not people, sorry to say. Oh, uh, boy. What does that mean? I don't know who that would be mean to, but I... But, you know, erring on the side of caution. Okay, so what do we got here? Ring shields just barely scraping in the lead. Will the engines get taken out? Yes or no? I'm starting to think actually that ring shields might be kind of handy in the early game. Um, because it's just something like. Like, you know, you're facing a lot of things which are high explosive, and even a small increase in AP can, like, drastically improve the survival chance of something that's made out of something cheap, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, yeah, like, I'm open to hearing about ring shields and shield projectors and pros and cons of either. In fact, main reason to just roll with... Uh, Shield projectors, rather, is like because they don't explode. That's the big thing. That is the big deal. Also, I'm doing superstructures now that are just boxes on deck that are the same height as the guns because that's what I do, I guess. Mm, blocks. Mm, block confetti. Block confetti. Zap, 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 zap. Mm. 
each ship, just leaving a trail. I was about to say a trail of scum, but no, it's a it's a trail of block confetti. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. It's block confetti. Let's see what's happening under here. Arguably, these shields are a bit big. See, I don't know. Like, like. I have ideas, I guess, because, of course, ideas are cheap. Ideas are... It's not hard to come up with ideas. It's hard to come up with good ideas, and it's also really hard to implement any kind of idea well. But it's like, thinking about shields and, like, how they could be more generally useful. What I would actually kind of like um, for shield projectors is... Uh, rather than this RNG reflection chance, which I hate, by the way... Um, I don't think that, like, random chance has much space in a game like this, which is about precise engineering and, like, you need predictable results in order to plan for anything, in order to plan your craft. I think maybe, like, it would be, like, nice to just have them, like, do tiny amounts of damage to shells or projectiles that pass through them. So it, like... So basically, shells that a lands can't take care of, a shield projector can deal with, which stops, like, you know, just sand blasters from absolutely dominating everything. Or just reducing the AP of shells that pass through them. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Because then that's a reason to, like... Yeah. Also, I do, th I do find it a little bit silly that you can't use both ring shields and shield projectors at the same time. There's no good reason given for that. It just seems kind of arbitrary. So, yeah. I, I don't know. Let me know if you agree or disagree with that, because... I guess the idea is, like, it's probably uh, to keep lasers in mind, because, like, the whole, like, shield projectors are actually really great. Uh, laser defense because they just drop the AP of lasers by a significant degree even if they're weak um, And yeah pairing that with a ring shield would just make lasers really ineffective and Like yeah, I, mean, I don't know it just make craft like way too easy to be like laser proof I guess but I don't know I'm not I'm not a fan of how lasers work at the moment like I don't know no, like, don't, don't take the, the, this, I guess, stream of consciousness, like, too seriously. Don't bother the devs with it. And if any of the devs are watching, like, don't feel any need to take any of this advice. Ad advice? It's not advice. You don't give advice to game developers if you don't know how to make video games. Um, suggestions, I guess. There are suggestion channels, uh... I think there's a website, yeah, the Brilliant Skies uh, has an actual website suggestion. And of course on the official From the Depths Discord there I think are suggestion channels and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe I should learn how to mod Unity and then I can actually try these ideas out for myself. But I wouldn't know where to begin. I'm busy studying for other things uh, right now. Oh yeah, so um... I had to reset an exam the other day, a certification for uh, IT work, and I passed, and that's nice, and I'm halfway done, and I need to book the next exam, and I would have booked the next exam, except, oh lordy, like, uh, the website is having technical issues uh, for the exam booking, so that's where my life is at right now. I want to move on and do stuff, but stuff outside of your control is not letting that happen. And isn't that just life? Like, so many things are out of your control. Like the AI and where it's aiming. The, um... Ring shield thing is like this damage... It could mean just me being cuckoo crazy, but, um... I feel this damage is more spread out than uh, it is over on the, uh... On the shield projector craft. Maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Oh yeah, that's a, a random thing, and like, yeah, I know I'm drifting off topic, but like, yeah, these ships are just kind of getting on with it. Um, ananas, I think, is like the word for pineapple in like most uh, languages, except English for some reason. Like, there's ananas in like various, uh, I think mostly European languages, 
and then randomly in English it's pineapple. And now I'm thinking about it, it doesn't look much like a pine or an apple. Okay. 1% lead over on the ring shields thing. Are you penetrating all the way through? That's not spinning as fast as it should be. Oh, yep, there go the engines again. Maybe in the alloy citadel is not the best idea. I just did that for extra floaty floaty. I think that's the critical thing, is just it. Uh, th those ring shields and the armor boost to them. Oh, wait, no. What, what am I saying? I was looking at the wrong. I'm getting these craft confused. Now the ring shield thing is going to be losing health uh, quite quickly and slowing down, which is a big problem. Although the ring shield still has a health advantage, so what what the hell is happening? Do you also have ruptured engine compartment? Nope. Nope, okay, so uh okay, so the ring shield won again. I don't know, I'm not sure about this test. Um also, if the fight had carried on, I think the engine compartment would have been, um, like, you know, just taken out completely. But that does it. So, I said two out of three. So, two out of three. Ring shields have won. Let me know. I feel like we should try this again, but with different parameters. So, do let me know what you think should change here. For one thing, I think the ship should be bigger. Uh, so, max power shield projectors. Uh, big craft to actually utilize properly. Uh, big ring shields and all that kind of stuff. Maybe swap the shells out for a mixture of like one turret is say high explosive and the other one is Sabo or something like that. Let me know what you think. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time from the depths. Farewell.